My name is Daniel Walker. I'm the hardware product manager for Philips Dynalight. And today I'd like to talk about our range of DINRAIL relay controllers. So within the range, we have our 4x20 amp, we have a 12x20 amp general loading, and we have an 8x10 amp double throw relays. Each of them have their own purpose and reason why we uh, use them within the product portfolio. All of our relay controllers follow the same formatting. So we have our network connection on the bottom left, and we have our supply terminals on the top right and generous output terminals uh, for each of the uh, different channels. Network sign-on is, as always, on the top left-hand side, allowing for the device to be networked identified without removing any DB scutching. On the 8x10 amp, we do have an additional dry contact inputs, so the device can be used with low-level integration or low-level interfaces to be able to trigger any presets or tasking functionality. We also have on the 8x10 override buttons, allowing for the installing contractor to be able to directly uh, test their output terminations. Focusing on the 4x20 and the 12x20 relay controllers, the 4x20 is about scalability. So if we just need to be able to support four relay switching channels without the cost burden of having all 12, this small little controller really allows for projects to have a cost-effective method of having uh, relay switching. With the 4x20, it is a very small six uh, DIN device and we still have access to the output channels. This is driving the armature of the relay itself. So even if there is a power outage uh, to the supply of the unit, the installing contractor is able to drive those individual, individual channels. Then we have our large 12 by 20 amp. Now this is a general loading device. So while each of the channels can be loaded to 20 amps, it does have a total box limit of 180 amps. So this is why we refer to it as a general loading device. It is one of our more cost-effective relay controllers. So from here, we can drive 12 independently controlled channels. We still have access to the relay armatures. So if there is a loss of supply to the unit, the installing contractor can still drive each of those armatures to be able to test their output loads. For the 4 and the 12 channel, they are feed-through relays, allowing for full three-phase installation. Uh, and this can also be run in single phase, depending about what the requirements of the project. Then we have our 8x10 amp um, double throw relays. So this means that each of the output channels has a normally closed, normally open, and a common terminal. When we pair two of these output channels together, this can be used for motorized control, useful for blinds and screens, allowing us to be able to do up, down, and stop control. There is a special configuration within System Builder that allows us to be able to pair channels together and then presents the uh, commissioning engineer with the options of being able to drive the blinds uh, through a template. When using the device for blind controls and the two channels are going to be paired together, the device automatically recognizes which is the directional relay and which is the power relay, making sure that the direction is chosen first before driving the power, ensuring that the relays are not going to be exposed to any excessive current draw from the motor that is traditionally causing welding. Allowing for this software uh, fix within the unit allows for the device to be able to confidently driving motors without the need of any external protection of the relay channels. The Dynalite Relay Controllers may be humble, simple little devices, but they certainly are the unsung heroes as we find them predominantly used in most projects. Thank you so much for your time.